The Sustainable Child Friendly Municipalities project was established in 2014 in Belize and the objective is really simple. It's to create a platform that would ensure that children can participate in the process of decision making um, and policy setting and monitoring of the well-being of rights of children um, with the view to ensure that we achieve sustainable, child-friendly policies um, and implement activities that really do take into consideration their concerns and their best interests. September of 2014, all nine mayors of Belize signed an agreement to work towards making their municipality child-friendly. So we're seeing that the initiatives that we have implemented along with our partners, along with the municipalities, have had a direct influence on the ultimate goal that we want to achieve, which is, of course, to have our children inclusive in the participation process at the level of the municipalities. So the CABs are children's advisory boards, and each CAB um, is a, a group of between 7 and 20 children, and these children advise the municipal government. CAB is a, is a group of children from different schools helping to make their community better and more child-friendly for the future. We watch our own song, find the faults, and we take it back to the council and we see how we can work to, make, to change. We became involved with the CAB program because of our connections with UNICEF. We have done several projects dealing with child protection issues and when UNICEF started um, to support the CAB initiatives, they approached us to do the training for the CAB members on child protection. We did like a mannequin challenge where we gave them a description of a right that they have as a child under the Convention on the Rights of the Child and a corresponding responsibility. And then they had to do a mannequin challenge to depict what they thought that right represented and what the responsibility meant. And so that allowed them to see in a very visual and graphic way what the right is and then to interpret in their own circumstances what that looks like. Our children have experienced a lot of violence, whether it is that they have been um, violated or they have seen violence. And we have a WhatsApp group and in the WhatsApp group you are able to see that the children are actually going out so in their community, talking to different ad adults about the initiative and getting them to join in in terms of signing a little contract or a pledge stating that they would take a time out. Through this initiative, our goal is that it's a cultural change so that we change our mindset rather than just saying, okay, I not hit them, but then we get angry and then we hit the child. So it's about not hitting a child when you're angry. Our local cab here in Belmopan in September launched an anti-bullying campaign uh, where they really rallied their peers uh, to get involved, to, to become aware of, of what is classified as bullying, um, the different types, uh, and to not be afraid to stand up against it. And so that is something that um, we were very proud uh, of them for, for undertaking. This actually allows them to speak, and not only to speak, it allows them to speak and be heard. And in so doing, their opinions, their comments, their thoughts are actually becoming part of the decision making of this process. And for me, the empowerment of the voice of our children is probably the biggest achievement that we have achieved so far. This initiative responds directly, um, not only to the challenge of ending violence, but to contributing towards goal 11 of the Sustainable Development Goals, which is to create safe, um, resilient, child-friendly and sustainable municipalities. The biggest opportunity is we have a platform that ensures participation for children and that we hear their voices.